actually, viewers of a nervous disposition better be warned because we are about to describe the largest consumer problem we've ever come across. A great many of your letters to us are complaining about having to pay for something and then finding you haven't got what you paid for. For example, Margaret Chapman for Crawley wrote to us and said, I certainly didn't get what I paid for. I paid for a classigram. They advertise in their local paper. Classigrams, kissograms, strippograms. A must for a fun hen or stag night for all your entertainment needs. All areas covered. You were holding a hen party? I was not. Some friends and I were going to our friend Chris Firth's <coughs> fancy dress 40th birthday party. And ten of us thought we'd organise a kissogram for him. I paid for it in advance. It cost £99.50. That's a lot of money. It is, but it was a special kissogram. My friend Brenda Prince actually booked it. And Brenda was really rather pleased at the idea. She told us... I'd seen roly-poly fairy kissograms at other parties with a tutu and a wand and a little crown and gauzy wings and ballet shoes. So I rang and said, I want a fairy, please. A man said. For topless, including VAT. No, 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 not that kind of thing at all. We don't want topless. This is the family do. There'll be children there. We want a tutu, you know, a sort of proper roly-poly fairy. A fairy, right. So that was that, until the night of the party, which was at Brockham Village Hall. Brenda told us... It was brilliant. Chris was Blackadder, his wife was Anne Boleyn, there was Noddy and Big Ears, Dracula, and even Captain Hook. Then the Lady Kissagram arrived. She didn't shower them with fairy dust. Instead, she said... Can I have my petrol money, please? <laughs> Brenda said... Where's your crown? Where, where are your wings? Where's your tutu? And why are you wearing that long black coat? The fairy took off her long black coat, and this is how she looked. <laughs> Not, as you see, greatly thrilling Chris, but worse was to come. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Three cheers, the pet. Now that surely isn't a fairy, is it? <laughs> this actually isn't a fairy either. This is David Tench of the Consumers Association, but he was appearing in our pantomime like that, and he told us... I was a blooming sight closer to a fairy than that lady. And if anyone needs one, I'm available for weddings and bar mitzvahs. But you, you can't be a fairy, David. You work for which? Ah, ha, ha, ha. Well, but as this lady bears no resemblance whatever to a fairy, she is not as described. There is an absence of tutu. Too, too true. So, in my view, they're entitled to their money back under the Supply of Goods and Services Act. We rang Classy Grand, spoke to the boss, Mrs. Randall. She said, I know she was booked as a fairy. What was she wearing? Well, rather small bits of underwear. <laughs> and no too, too. I'm sorry. She's been doing the job a long time. I believe you. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I hate anything to go wrong like this. And your advertisement does say all areas covered. <laughs> well, most of her areas weren't covered at all. Under the circumstances, they can have a full refund. Which is kind, isn't it? Actually, Chris is here with us in the audience, the gent whose birthday it was. Chris, that is very good news. Don't you think you can have a full refund? I think it's absolutely brilliant, Esther, and thank uh, you very much. Pleasure, pleasure. Was it this gentleman's birthday? Um, <laughs> yes, madam, it was. Good heavens, we must celebrate! <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, was the wonderful General Fairy, Miss Audrey Laybourne. <laughs>